Hello everyone. Hi, this is Munish. You are watching Crime Tech English, and I welcome all of you to Crime Tech family. And I hope everyone part of this Crime Tech family is doing well and fine. Now, from last few days, there is a controversy going on over a death of a person who was known as a Don, who was known as Don of Siwan, Don of Bihar, Sultan of Bihar, and someone who was always seen as a gangster and not as a politician. I am talking about. Muhammad Shahabuddin. Now, since the day he died, since May one this month, people are talking whether he died due to COVID or it was a part of conspiracy and he has been killed. Now, this controversy is gaining momentum after several politicians, including from the party of Lalu Yadav, those politicians have come out in open and now they are saying that. Muhammad Shahabuddin, a person who has killed more than two dozen people, against whom more than 45 criminal cases are ongoing in the Indian courts, that person has been killed, and these allegations are coming from prominent politicians of the country. So, what this controversy is, who Muhammad Shahabuddin was, I think it is important for us to talk about. And this is why I decided to talk about Muhammad Shahabuddin. Now, where I am sitting in Delhi, just one kilometer away from here, is the hospital where Muhammad Shahabuddin died. Now, before that, let me give you a sequence: what exactly happened and how exactly happened. So, around April 20th, Muhammad Shahabuddin, according to the officials and authorities of the Har Jail, he was detected with. Some mild symptoms of COVID, which uh, you know, which includes uh, mild fever, headache, and he was complaining about this to the authorities, the the Har Jail authorities. And after these symptoms, he was shifted to a Delhi hospital. Now, when he got this virus inside the jail, now this becomes very interesting. There are only three people. In the entire Tihar jail, where there are thousands of prisoners in Tihar jail, there are only three prominent prisoners who are kept in separate prison, separate jail, you can say. And uh, in these separate cells, apart from Muhammad Shahabuddin, there is another person who everyone is aware of, Don Chota Rajan, and another gangster, Neeraj Pawana. Now these are the only three people who were kept in three separate cells. But initially, the report came that Muhammad Shahabuddin has mild symptoms, and after these mild symptoms, he was sent to a Delhi hospital where he was admitted. Initially, it was said that he is COVID positive, and uh, you know the doctors are taking care of him. But three days before his death. He was admitted to the ICU ward of the hospital, and on May one, he died. He died, and official reason was given as COVID. Now the questions were being raised: that how a person who was kept in a separate cell in Tihar jail, who had absolutely no contact with any other prisoner, the only contact he was having with the Officials of jail authorities who were giving him food or who were giving him whatever he was needing. Only that contact was established between Muhammad Shahabuddin inside the Tihar jail. But still, the virus got him. He contacted the virus, and later on, he was shifted to hospital where he died. The Tihar authorities, on record, they claim that Muhammad Shahabuddin. Was being treated at a Delhi hospital where he died due to COVID. Now there are several politicians. The most prominent is Muhammad OSC. Uh, I beg your pardon, uh, OSC. Now OSC has tweeted and he has said that when Muhammad Shahabuddin died, then there was. A delay in response from the Bihar government 
a delay in response from the central government and the family was not even given the right for the last rights of Muhammad Shahabuddin. He was cremated in Delhi and his body was never sent to his uh, you know, ancestral home. And later on, if I can tell you my friends, then there are other politicians also. Now, Jeetan Ram Manji. Jeetan Ram Manji has put a very serious allegation and Jeetan Ram Manji has said that it is a case of murder. He never died of COVID. It was a conspiracy and under a conspiracy, Mohammad Shahabuddin has been killed. Now, also, there were tweets from Lalu Prasad Yadav, family members of Lalu Prasad Yadav. But the dawn of Shivan, Shahabuddin, who was 53 years old, he was in jail for a double murder case since 2018. Now, over his death, these controversies are, you know, shocking. First of all, the officials claim it is a case of COVID. Now, if we go by this theory, that a person who has been lodged in a separate cell cannot contract the virus is something which is very difficult to believe. Because remember, even though he was in a separate cell, there were people from the jail authorities who were in daily contact with uh, Muhammad Shahabuddin. There was the person who was giving him food. There was a person who was taking him out of his cell for his daily business for toilet and all and also in the separate cell is Don Chota Rajan. Now Don Chota Rajan is also, you know, he is also infected with the coronavirus but he is admitted at Ames Hospital and also there are questions being raised that when Chota Rajan can be admitted to Ames Hospital for better treatment, why was Muhammad Shahabuddin admitted to a government hospital in Delhi where there is a difficulty of medicine, where there is a difficulty of oxygen and basically what the family members of Muhammad Shahabuddin and several other politicians of RJD are claiming that it was a case of murder and not a case of, uh, not a case where Muhammad Shahabuddin died due to coronavirus. Now these controversies will go on. This politics will go on. But we need to understand that who Muhammad Shahabuddin was. So a person who was born on May 10, 1967, lived for almost 53 years, but his rise began in late 80s and early 90s. Now, in late 80s, he turned as a gangster. He was the one who was taking care of all the government tenders, the PWD tenders, and also they were in a systematic way. If anyone wanted any work to be done by a government depart department, and if there was any delay, then it was Muhammad Shahabuddin who was making sure that the person gets help. And this is why he turned a gangster of a level that whenever he was contesting the election, hardly there was anyone who dared to stand against him in that constituency. He won the election in 1990, again in 1995, and almost for four times he won the elections. And the only reason he won the elections was because the others were afraid of contesting the election. For example, there was a time when a person contested the election against Muhammad Shahabuddin. But hardly he got any vote. And the moment Muhammad Shahabuddin won the election, almost two dozen people who were supporting the candidate of opposition, they were killed within two days. And in most of the cases, what happened, my friends, is that there was lack of evidence. When these people were killed, there was lack of evidence to connect this to Muhammad Shahabuddin. There was lack of evidence in several cases where the bodies were never discovered. There were witnesses who saw Muhammad Shahabuddin killing a particular person, but there was 
no body discovered and that is why he was never found guilty of those murders but till the date he died there was there were 45 cases including murder riots dakati against mohammad shahabuddin and in several cases he was a convicted accused and that is why he was sent to uh, tihar jail also it was not an easy task in 2016 a local court in bihar granted bail to mohammad shahabuddin but it was nitish kumar because once mohammad shahabuddin came out on prison uh, out on bail and that point of time nitish kumar was having an alliance arrangement in the state with the party of uh, lalu yadav but the moment he came out on bail Mohammad Shahabuddin made a statement that my leader is not Nitish Kumar whereas Nitish Kumar was the chief minister of state at that point of time but uh, he said that um, my leader is not Mohammad uh, my leader is not Nitish Kumar my leader is uh, Lalu Yadav and he will be the one who will remain my leader later on Nitish Kumar approached supreme court his bail was cancelled and he was again arrested and you know after a court order in a double murder case a 2004 double murder case he was sent to tihar jail another important you know uh, case which i can remember is that <coughs> there was a time when the authorities wanted to arrest mohammad shahabuddin and there was uh, you no know, there was an attempt to arrest Muhammad Shahabuddin not only by the police of Bihar but also by the police of Uttar Pradesh. It was a it was, you know, rare instance when an assistant was sought from a police of different state whereas the person in criminal activity was wanted by another state. So the Bihar police sought assistance from the UP police. There was a team which was dispatched from the Devariya district of Uttar Pradesh and then that police went to arrest Muhammad Shahabuddin. Now what happened at that point of time is that the UP police, the Bihar police, they fought a battle. It was a gun battle. And in that gun battle, more than 400 rounds were fired. At one point of time, the police went out of ammunition and they sought help from the local department. They got the ammunition and again the firing started. Now, Muhammad Shahabuddin ran away at that point of time, uh, you know, along with his close associates. But later on, he was arrested. But in that encounter, in that firing, what happened, my friends, is that two policemen lost their life. Eight others were killed. 400 rounds of ammunition was fired. And there were ammunition recovered by the police that was AK-47. There was, uh, you know, night vision goggles that was recovered. And you know, once the court was hearing the matter, the court said that these sophisticated ammunition, which even the CISF or CRPF doesn't have, it is only with the army. The night vision goggle, which is only with the army and not even with the uh, other wings of military. Now that ammunition is with you. How have you procured? And there was a report um, on this procurement of weapons and there was an allegation that Muhammad Shahabuddin was working in close association with the Pakistani intelligence agency ISI. This was a huge allegation. As of now it is not proved. But you know what shocks me is that there are many people who are questioning the government, who are questioning the authorities that when this person has died who is responsible for killing you know, many, many people, the official record is over 20 people, but I can tell you, there were many people who were killed by this person. 
there were many people who suffered because of this person. There were many families who are still suffering because of this person. And when this person has died, and the officials say he died because of COVID, they are putting an allegation on the government officials, on the Tihar authorities, that Muhammad Shahabuddin has been killed. In detail, I will tell you later. In the next episode, I will tell you sequence by sequence the cases which were against Muhammad Shahabuddin. The people he killed, his modus operandi, how he became a politician from a gangster and how Lalu Yadav, the party of Lalu Yadav, helped Muhammad Shahabuddin to go scot-free, to carry out his illegal activities because he was sure that he will never be caught by the government authorities, by the local police. And even local police was afraid of Muhammad Shahabuddin because he was so powerful at one point of time that if he wanted any policeman to be transferred to a different department, he was in a position to do that. And that is what he was doing and that is why many policemen, many families, many politicians, they were afraid of their life and those who dared to stand against him, they were killed. That person is no more. The controversies will go on. But remember, here a criminal has died. I may sound biased. I may sound biased, but remember, Officially, he has died of coronavirus. It is not a case of murder according to government officials. And if this person has died, those who are crying, those who are crying foul, those who are alleging there is a conspiracy, they should just go back and look at the illegal activities which he has carried out for almost two decades. Thank you so much for watching this and in next episode I will tell you that how Muhammad Shahabuddin became a politician from a gangster, became a don while he was a politician and how he killed several people. Thank you so much for watching this.